Welcome in Hungary. Welcome at Hungary. The Hungara Ring, which is about 20 kilometers northeast of the Hungarian capital Budapest, is the second venue on this year's FIA European Truck Racing Championship calendar. Many Hungarian fans are trackside to witness the four races live, as well as to see the motorsport giants race around the track. The overall standings at the moment are as follows. Adam Lachko, the Czech driver, the 2017 champion ahead of last year's champion Jochen Hahn. And then third and fourth, but tied on points, Norbert Kish and Antonio Albafetti. The duel, Lachko versus Hahn, Hahn versus Lachko was the fight in the past three years, and it looks like it'll be the same for 2019. We have more seven weekends with this in front of us, and we have a lot of points in the games. And I hope uh, after the Hungaroring ring, maybe I stay like uh, before, but here is not so easy. Uh, we have every time problem is a slippery on the circuit. I like the circuit, it's a really nice circuit, but I think it's very hard and tough weekend in front of us. The expectations are high. Why? Uh, we've celebrated great success, but you can never underestimate Norbert Kirsch at this track. Adam wasn't at his best today, but I believe that this is tactical and he will be very strong tomorrow. Antonio and Steffi were really strong as well. Expectations, realistically, we should be able to claim the podium. If we did our homework right, we could even be a good candidate for the win. When it comes to track characteristics and setup, they agree. The track has everything you want. Quick corners, slow ones, going up and down, it has it all. The grip level was a bit strange today, different, and maybe even worse than last year. That's why the previous setup on the truck didn't work. It's not so easy. I hope we thinking about something for the setup in the truck. And I hope it helps for tomorrow and we will see. Good. I was able to drive the fastest lap today. As mentioned before, I don't think that everyone else showed their best side, so I think they will be very strong tomorrow. I'm excited to see what will happen. The next round of the fight can begin. And also in the Grammar Cup an independent category for drivers with less experience in the truck racing sport. A Bagheera pilot leads the field. Ollie James, the Brit, in the Freightliner number 22, after three second places and one win in Masano. The 4.4 kilometer long racetrack, the Hungara Ring, offers usually little possibility to overtake for the truck racers. That's why the qualifying results are even more important, because who starts from the front will usually also end up there at the finish line. And there is one driver who is very quick, even though dealing with the extremely high asphalt temperature, Jochen Hahn. The German in his Iveco quickest in Super Bowl, about a second faster than Antonio Albafetti, Andre Kurzim and Adam Lachko. The Czech fourth in qualifying. I knew that if I had a clear round, a clear lap, and didn't make any mistakes, that I could secure the pole position. Of course, it's satisfying to be that far ahead, but that wasn't something I knew before getting into the truck. And no matter where, on what racetrack, and in which of the four races, the Mercedes-Benz pace truck will lead the field. Economical, comfortable, safe, as well as ecologically good, it's the third generation of Mercedes-Benz Actros, which has been available for customers only for a short time now. The inside of the cabin, the back mirror, which are monitors to keep an overview around the cockpit, it looks like one of the E-Class cars. And all of these are highlights of the pace truck of the 2019 season. We know that we are fast, we know that if everything goes smoothly, we can win the race. That's of course a good base, but it would be naive to say, yes, we will for sure win. That's something you hope for and think, and sometimes it's not meant to be and the outcome is different. That's why you have to be realistic and stay calm. So says the man on pole position for race one, Jochen Hahn. Antonio Albafetti, the Spaniard from Team Lutz Bernau, is next to Jochen, second on the grid.
Behind them on the second row, there is a German versus a Czech. Andre Kurzim in the yellow track against Adam Lachko, who unexpectedly had a hard time keeping up with the times of others. And only ninth on the grid, Norbert Kish, the local hero who had problems with his truck, both during free practice and qualifying. The race starts with about 30 degrees temperatures. Hahn leads the field. Albafetti has a slightly better acceleration, though. 16 trucks have been registered for the Hungary Track Fest to create this special motorsport atmosphere. On board with Norbert Kish, who's in the middle of the field, but isn't able to improve his position. Downhill for the first time, some running off the road even. Antonio Albafetti, who we're on board with, loses the battle against Jochen Hahn, and he's even overtaking by Adam Lachko in the freight liner. Norbert Kish, the Hungarian, is right in the middle of the action and needs to fight with the Brit Jamie Anderson in the white truck number seven, plus Steffi Halm in the orange and white number 44. It's all action between them. Ahead of Kish is Andre Kurzim in the yellow number 11. That's how the local hero enters the chicane at the back part of the circuit for the first time. Kish locks up but scrabbles through safely. In the lead, Jochen Hahn, followed by Adam Lachko, Antonio Albafetti, and then Jose Rodriguez, the Portuguese, who was sixth in qualifying, and he's already up to fourth ahead of Andre Kurzim, with Norbert Kish sixth and on the attack. Kish goes wide. He's then under attack from Steffi Halm, the Aveco driver on lap three. She pressures the Mercedes driver who makes a mistake, which Harm uses to overtake the Hungarian. For two laps, Norbert Kish tries to reclaim his position from the German, but needs to wait until the end of lap five to force a mistake from Harm and get that as his advantage to go through. In the qualifying, we had some problems with the brakes because there was some oil from the steering box onto the brakes. So, that was really bad. I mean, nine position the qualifying, I don't remember. I think maybe in the first year of my track race career, um, like eight years ago, something when I was qualified ninth <laughs> last, last time. So, yeah, it was bad. And uh, and starting from ninth position, there's not much you can do. I think I gained three positions in the first race. Adam Lachko loses his second position and needs to do a drive through after over speeding twice and even gets disqualified later on due to another incident where he was overspeeding. Jochen Hahn couldn't care less. The man in the number one truck claims the fastest lap time, and Antonio Albafetti behind doesn't have a chance. I knew that uh, it was very difficult to fight with Jochen because he's very, very strong. So for us to finish second is uh, very, very fine, very good. You know, I think it was the best we can do, so we are quite happy with the, with the result. Norbert Kish was overtaken by Steffi Halm in the end, who was able to overtake the Mercedes driver once more on lap eight. Jochen Hahn wins and celebrates his third victory of the season. Three and a half seconds ahead of Antonio Albafetti and a surprising third place for Jose Rodriguez, who profited from the drive-through of Adam Lachko. The excitement of Team Hahn racing and the five times European champion Jochen Hahn was huge. It's an advantage to drive freely. I was able to drive at my pace, focused, careful around the corner markers, taking care of white lines. I just wanted to bring it home. That's what I did, driving relatively safe for the past 10 laps. The results of the first race here at the Hungara Ring. Jochen Hahn, the race winner from Antonio Albafetti with Jose Rodriguez third from Kurzib, Hahn, Kish sixth, then it's Lentz, Reinert, Oli Janes ninth and Luis Refenko in tenth place. Reinert therefore starts on pole for race two.
On the best starting position for race two, the man in the blue Iveco truck with number 77 on the side. He still gets nervous though, even though it's his seventh European season, no matter where he is on the grid. It's René Reinert. No matter where you are placed, the pole position especially, you of course take responsibility for the speed, you're leading the field at the beginning and there are a couple of things you need to concentrate on, even more from starting anywhere else. But no matter where you start from, the first, fifth or eleventh, you're always nervous, always excited and you try to think of everything to avoid mistakes and to do everything right. You are always nervous, that's the same for everyone. While Reinert was already able to win a race in Masano, Sasha Lentz, here second on the grid, has been waiting for another victory since Masano 2018. I've got to be honest, we need a good start. I need to say calm, and then we will see what comes out of it. I can't say more than that. <laughs> on the second row, Steffi Harm lines up fourth, Norbert Kish lines up third. The duel of the previous race could potentially go for a second round. Norbert Kish was on the podium twice at last year's event here. The start of the 11 lap race. It's blast off. As if Sasha Lentz was on fire, the guy in the yellow truck with number 30 on the side shoots to the front, overtaking a slow starting Reinert, who drops back into second place. And Adam Latchko, the Czech who started from the last place on the grid due to him being disqualified in race one, improves by four positions at the start. And also the rookie of team Tankpool Firenze fancy, Fabio Cittignola, gets in contact with Latchko whose driving style can be described as non-negotiable. First lap, Lentz leads, followed by the Glory 7. Latchko already ninth after half a lap. Reinert, having missed the jump, is only in second place, while the winner of the previous race, Jochen Hahn, keeps on fighting with Antonio Albafetti. On board with Adam Latchko, he's behind Jose Rodriguez. The Czech needs five laps to overtake the Portuguese driver. Latchko overtakes Rodriguez on lap six and is therefore eighth. <laughs> Sasha Lentz has an unbelievable pace driving almost as though it were a qualifying session, and he has a lead of four seconds by the midpoint of the race. Hahn overtakes Albafetti, who's now sixth, and pressures Kurzin and Kish, who feel the champion's attack coming. Johan was coming behind me, who was the winner of the previous race, and obviously he's the fastest among us right now. So yeah, he was pushing really hard, but uh, we, had, we, had a good, we had a good fight, and I was defending very hard, so... I think it was a good race. Uh, for all I all I can hear, the the fans really did like it, so it was great. I tried my best to overtake. He fought back and wanted to block me. That's when we had to be careful not to push each other off the track. We often were close to that. I was next to him and we pushed each other. It was on the limit. The stewards took a look and yes, of course, we are not playing a game. We are racing exactly as he said too. He did a great job and I tried to pressure him into making a mistake. I failed and he stayed in front of me as he deserved. End of story. Towards the end of the race, the action calms down, especially because in the reverse grid race, they can only secure half of the available points, which means 10 points for the winner, Sasha Lentz, nine for Reinert and eight for Halm, because nothing changed within the first three positions until the end of the race. Sasha Lentz celebrates in Hahn style, a quick power slide out of the last corner, well-deserved applause for the man of the race. Followed by daughter Kate joining him on the podium. The first victory of the season for the man who made a name for himself for collecting points in last year's season and landing now on the top step of the podium. After crossing the finish line for the first time, you have about three, four or five metres advantage to the others. I needed to focus on driving each lap like in qualifying, and that's what I tried. I needed to stay consistent, and when I didn't see Rene anymore, I just kept on pushing more and more. At some point, I asked how many more laps I had to go, and my team said, last lap. Uh, that, of course, made me very happy. 
Sasha Lentz might frame the result of that race. The winner also claimed fastest lap of the day and even got a special prize for that. More news. Jochen Hahn has claimed the overall championship lead from the unlucky Adam Lachko after day one at the Hungara ring. And the Grammar Truck Cup was won by Terry Gibbon. A great birthday present for the popular Brit, who is now 37. The number which adorns the side of his truck. That's how the Saturday at the Hungara Ring ends after two exciting races. But the ETRC drivers make their fans happy and do an extra autograph session. Love to come to the Hungary ring because there's a lot of Hungarian fans and they are really enthusiastic about track race and they really love it and uh, it's it's really good to see that they are coming here and cheering for me so I'm very thankful. The pole sitter for the third race is Jochen Hahn. The Iveco truck driver claims his third best lap time out of four super poles. But Norbert Kish gets the most attention. Here seen talking with the Hungarian Minister of Sport, Tunde Sharbo, a former world-class swimmer who awarded the winners after the race the trophies. The race was declared a wet race by race director Tony Iden because of rain shortly before the start. After one lap under a yellow flag, Jochen Hahn extends his lead to Steffi Halm and Sasha Lentz on lap two. Norbert Kish is fourth ahead of Albafetti and Kurzin. What a great shot from the air with the trucks on the back part of the circuit where the corner markers made things difficult for some of the drivers. Jochen Hahn, the leader, can control the race and keep his opponents in the distance, but also not overpaced. The top eight are therefore close together throughout the entire duration of the race. On the penultimate lap, the camera at the back of Steffi Halm's truck shows problems for Sasha Lentz, who drags a white cloud behind him. The end for the German, the first retirement for him since 2017. Uh, Our steering gear and a pipe broke. That um, can happen, can but it shouldn't. When the power steering but, uh, failed, we lost third position and had to retire. At the head of the field, the reigning ETRC Championship winner continues his laps. Jochen Hahn leads Steffi Halm, who was very satisfied with her performance after the race. The track is really quicker after drying, more than I thought. But of course, these conditions are not easy. At the beginning, we had a wet track, uh, which nobody knew this year. And that's when you really need to focus on where the maximum is during each lap. You need to try to improve, and that's what I did. And we claimed the second position. That's good. Jochen Hahn triumphs for the fourth time this season. A frightening dominance of the four-time champion at the beginning of the season. Second place goes to Steffi Halm and third to Norbert Kisch, who profits from the bad luck of Sasha Lentz. Hahn Racing is more than happy. The overview of the results. A double win for the Bulls von Iveco Magiris. And eighth is Jamie Anderson, who will therefore start from the front of the grid in the next race. Race four, the last at the Hungara ring, with the Brit Jamie Anderson on pole, who's in his second year in the championship. A clear underdog against Andre Kurzim next to him in the yellow number 11 rig. The German has a good chance to claim his first victory of the season. On the second row, Adam Lachko is on the inside line, the better line, next to René Reinert in his blue Iveco number 77. Hectic activity around the truck of Terry Gibbon, the winner and birthday boy of yesterday. The brake disc needs to be changed minutes before the start due to a small crack. Everyone helps and rushes to help the team. They're able to start this fourth race.
for the last time, it's game on. 11 laps of track racing at the Hungara Ring. And as always, the supporting start signal from the pits. Go! Anderson and Kurzim side by side. Latch go behind with a small advantage over Reinert. But already after half a lap, the Czech is in the top three. While Andre Kurzim, who was second, knows that he has to overtake Anderson as soon as possible. The man who lives close to Fulda in Hessen sees his chance at the end of lap one and uses it. Both in the drift, Kurzim with the better traction overtakes the Brit as they run absolutely together. There's been some rubbing between the two, but Kurzim goes through. Another look back to lap one. Lachko keeps slowing down and he's overtaken by everyone else. He's got big problems. At the start of lap two, Rene Reinert also overtakes Anderson. The pole sitter now dropping back to third, being chased by Albafetti, Halm, Hahn and Kish. Adam Lachko has no luck this weekend, having had a newly built truck with too many child issues, too many teething troubles. Only in the middle of the race, the veterans can overtake rookie Anderson. So Alba Fetti, Harm and Harm all find a way past. Harm also goes ahead of Harm. But up front is Andre Kurzim leading from Rene Reinert. And these two have pulled quite a gap to the rest of the field. In third, with damage, is Antonio Albafetti ahead of Jochen Hahn and then Steffi Halm and Norbert Kish. When I pass Anderson, I have to push very hard because I see that Jochen was behind, not Steffi, and I knew that Jochen was very, very fast, you know, so I have to open a gap uh, just for the last uh, laps, uh, not have uh, pressure from, from Jochen. That's what it looks like when a three times champion tries to close the door and wants to outdo a five time champion by racing away. On the penultimate lap, Kurzim and Reinert up front, followed by Alba Fetti and Halm. Then it's Steffi Halm, who did a great job on Saturday in a distant fifth. After 11 exciting laps, Andre Kurzim takes the chequered flag to score his first win of the 2019 season, making his team chief Sven Walter and everyone else of the Don't Touch Racing squad extremely happy. The winner of the trophy is Andre Kurzin, which makes the German now more successful than last year in Hungary. Kurzin, Reinert and Alba Fetti on the podium as the top three. The race result, there are five Germans in the top seven. It's true, no other country has that many drivers in the championship. In the Grammar Cup, Jamie Anderson, who is eighth overall, claims the victory for the second time this weekend, while Ollie James extends his class lead with 10th place. I was able to get a good gap to Rene, which continuously increased. I drove my race without any mistakes, without any pressure from behind. That was the key to success. In the overall championship, Adam Lachko goes from first to sixth position, while Jochen Hahn claims the overall lead of the FIA European Truck Racing Championship. We had high expectations for this weekend. We, of course, also had luck with the weather because I don't know if we would have been able to keep the pace in the rain. It was my I wish it was the goal and we made it happen, but also got lucky due to the bad luck of others. That's, of course, something you don't want anyone to have. Don't ever wish bad upon someone you don't want to have on yourself. But there were a lot of losses, many penalties, some correct and others maybe not so much. And, of course, that's how we made uh, such a big impact. Goal reach, I claimed 52 points this weekend. Perfect. It was really good. Did I flinch? No, I didn't flinch, did I? No, then everything went according to plan and I can take revenge. And that's what his revenge looks like. Do with champagne. Revenge accomplished. Question mark. The answer stays open as the temperature in Hungary literally calls for a cold shower by Jochen Hahn.
He leaves Hungary as the championship leader after an all-action weekend at the Hungara Ring.